My name is Enrico Fuchs from Fuchs Online, and we are specialized in .NET uh, technology. And uh, in this video, I would like to show you how you could use uh, .NET, the, um, the Visual Studio environment, to send uh, emails using Amazon uh, a simple email service, which is a very a very um, good uh, solution to send mass emails because uh, first of all uh, it's a good service uh, which means that uh, emails are uh, delivered with a high um, high degree of success and um, and the cost is very low compared to other solutions like um, could be Mailchimp or many others. So let's first of all go to the pricing page of Amazon and you will see that email messages are charged zero ten dollars per thousand emails, which means we, that is a very cheap solution to send emails. But now let's see how you can send emails using Visual Studio. You have two ways to send emails. One is using SMTP, which is a very standard way, instead of uh, setting your own uh, SMTP uh, parameters, uh, uh, you will set the, um, the parameters of the Amazon SMTP server. And the other solution which we will go through now is uh, sending an email using the SDK, which is uh, uh, useful because you will not go through the process of using the SMTP server, which uh, um, which uh, involves opening and closing an SMTP connection, which is uh, very costly in terms of um, of the time involved, uh, and uh, and there are many open and close uh, shaking, which um, will uh, might involve a longer interaction between your server and. Uh, the SMTP server from Amazon. So, um, my preferred solution is uh, this uh, uh, sending emails using an SDK. So, first of all, you have to download the SDK. You go to the Amazon SDK for .NET and you download the SDK. Of course, you have to register to the uh, Amazon um, Web Services, uh, which is the process we are not going through now. But it's a very straightforward way, and uh, you will get through very easily. Once you have downloaded the SDK and installed on your machine, you can proceed in uh, in uh, creating a, an account. And in order to do that, the first thing is uh, it's work explained in this documentation. You have to uh, create an account for um, for your simple email service, which uh, will uh, uh, give you access from the, your Visual Studio to the uh, to the um, simple email service from Amazon. In order to do that, you you log into your Amazon Web Service uh, um, console application, and you go to the Secure Access Control this um uh, you click here and it's already open in my in my browser and you will see your um, active um, username so here i just uh, um, added my usernames but you can easily here go in settings and uh, check this username checkbox and they will appear again and now we will create a new user. So let's create a new user. Create new user. And I'll give you a name, which will be test1, for example. You create the username and you can download the credentials. I will delete this username so I can just show the credentials. And you have to copy paste these credentials from here, we can just download those credentials. They will not be available afterwards, and you have to create them again. So I will open a notepad and 
copy paste my credentials here. Now that you have done that, the next thing you have to do is to log in, in the, again in your dashboard. That you will click where, where we here in the simple email service, which is already open in this in this window, and you will have to. Uh, verify your email addresses, which will be those email addresses that you will use to send emails. As soon as those emails are verified, you can start sending. So I will not go through in this uh, in this video uh, in the sandbox account, which you can uh, of course uh, configure and uh, do your test. But uh, I'm sure you will uh, find out how to do that. Yourself. So the next thing we can uh, do is create a, a very simple, uh, very simple web application. I always prefer to create a simple web application. I rather do that than a console application. I think it's uh, easier to to deploy next. So I'll create a new website, new website, and I will go just. Okay. It creates for me a web application. Now I have to add the DLL for the Amazon SDK. Okay, add new folder, the folder. And now I will just drag and drop the, the DLL which, uh, which was uh, installed during the um, .NET um, uh, installation of the Amazon SDK, but you can find it very easily here. You will go to your disk and program file, uh, Amazon uh, SDK in the bin folder, and you drag and drop your, your, um, your DLL. After you have done that, you can easily create a new page, create a uh, new item, and I will Call it a default SDX. Okay, and now I will create a button. Okay, and I will call it send email. Click button one, click, and then we can add a label. And we can call it SV1. Now we, we can add the code. And now let me copy paste some, uh, um, some code which I already uh, prepared. First of all, you have to add your using above so you can uh, you can use the Amazon SDK and now I will copy paste some code which I prepared from before second here it is and I will explain it very quickly so I have uh, here um, set uh, the email address, one of my um, authorized email address, my email address where I want to receive my email. And next I have to add the credentials, which are those we had uh, just uh, um, created before. Next, uh, you, you, you have to set uh, I will close this slide so you can see better. I have to create uh, my client. You, uh, I do it with a using statement, so it will close my resources as soon as uh, they are not necessary anymore. You have to set up uh, the region where you are. Um, you have created your account, account uh, because. Uh, you needed to bind uh, your uh, credential to the um, region one that you had set up. Next, uh, you, uh, you just uh, open the send request. You, you set up your source, send their address, which 
you have done in your above. The destination, you, have, you can add a, a list of, uh, of recipients which will receive the emails, but I always prefer to send one by one. Uh, so you just uh, uh, have to create a list because this is what um, it's configured to, to take. And then uh, you can add your message, which can have uh, any content you like. Here is, you can say, here is my um, object. And here is my body. And the next, you just uh, try to uh, use it by catch, um, uh, try catch to send the email and uh, in the label I will just write if uh, the, the, the message was sent successfully or not. And this is, uh, this is it. And uh, your message will be sent. And here you could add, uh, for example, a reply to, for example, if you like, a reply to address or, uh, or whatever you like to, to have. And that's uh, about all. And you just now run the application. Navigation, view browser. And if we have done everything fine, you send your email. Now there was an error probably, ah, we forgot something. Button. That was uh, a luck that we didn't uh, stop here the presentation because here what we forgot to do in um, once you create your user you have to authorize it to use your um, use your um, to use this simple email service. So let's close this window. It says that you, you can't download any more the credentials, but we have already done that. And now that we have done this part, you have to add, um, you have to select the newly added, uh, newly added, um, a user and we have to attach a user policy and here we can find Amazon Amazon simple simple email service full access select apply policy and now that we have done that I think it will work. Mail sent. And uh, in fact, if I go to my email account, let me open it in a, We have uh, received our email. I think this is all. Thank you for, uh, for listening. If you should need any uh, any help uh, creating the creating some uh, some service with Amazon? Please contact me, and uh, you will find uh, all my uh, contact page here on my website booksonline.com. Please feel free to contact me, and uh, I will be happy to to help you further. Thank you for listening.